Hello everybody and welcome aboard this Sea Ray 390 for a look around her interior and cockpit. So to give you a good idea of how things are, where they are and what kind of condition you think they might be in. So we're in the cockpit at the moment and as you can see we're under this so really massive cockpit tent here. So we've got oodles of headspace here or height and uh, oodles of space in the cockpit itself. Now we make no bones about it this boat needs work so uh, please do note, note and take cognizance of that as I pass around and I'll comment on what I can but it looks to me like there's loads of uh, life left in this tent. Uh, we could probably do the valets here and there maybe one or two minor repairs but looking pretty pretty good. There's a companion way in, nice and easy to get in here. We can roll the sides up here to allow access to the starboard side deck via the ladder here and uh, similar on the port side I think but a really nice access once you're in over the swim platform close that really big secure door and it should be nice and snug in here once you're in I'll just turn around to show you the view shall I so there's the seating uh, aft so lots of bench seating aft so that could be sleeping for one possibly two shorter people uh, here's the access to the starboard side deck there we've got L-shaped seating there on the starboard side and the same or sorry a bench seating over on the port side there with a cockpit table that uh, can be moved around at will i think and uh, just looking down at the deck here you can see we've got oodles of space here and uh, we've got three deck plates there that we can use to lift up and access under that one we've got the starboard engine under the center section here we've got batteries uh, etc access to the generator and under the port side here access to the port engine there we can just uh, drop down underneath this one and uh, between the engines and get a good look so if we're checking at sea etc or doing the maintenance we can crawl around to our heart's content really good now you can see the upholstery is of an age so uh, we might need to be thinking about that replacement but at least we've got the old stuff to use for templates which is good um, as we move around the boat we can see we've got lots of handholds here so uh, really well thought out so moving around the boat so while she's underway could be pretty good but uh, we would point out that both of these engines are not working or they haven't been made to work and uh, the engineer couldn't get them to turn underhand so something else to think about uh, up here on the port side we can see uh, the other oh, companion way really nice and easy to slide backwards and forwards so that slides back out of the way and on the port side here you can see we've got bench seating a little bit of clutter sitting on it at the moment but we have a locker underneath it and it looks like a foot locker beneath that and also a locker here there are lockers everywhere on this boat and on the starboard side again you can see we've got the uh, the bench seating here and uh, again we're talking upholstery we've got a locker underneath we've got an end, uh, end locker uh, two end lockers by the looks of it and a drawer sitting there so again a Lots of storage and uh, we uh, we do sort of sit up a little bit to get in here or get up higher and uh, this is a view looking forward so you've got a good view looking forwards from the helm good view looking to the sides and also looking around the back although you have got the the thicker sides here which uh, obscure the viewing of the view a bit but uh, pretty good for what's keeping it see i think and looking around here we've got uh, a plethora of uh, of kind of vintage um uh, instrumentation i'll describe it starting at the top We've got the port and the starboard engine, so we've got engine speed. I think we it looks like we have the rudder angle indicator, oil pressure, water temperature, engine hours. Looks like we have 2,000 to, oh sorry, 200 to port, 204 to starboard. That accuracy would have to be, have to be verified. We've got, uh, looks like we have um, uh, autopilot here. We've got depth and log. We've got an old navman chart plotter there, a radar here, uh, throttles and gear levers or gear levers, throttle levers, bow thruster, compass and wheel and a couple of electrical panels and down here a, a, a VHF DSC unit and another handle here as well to hold on to so really really good. So this stuff uh, if it all works there's no real reason to change it but uh, somebody might want to bring it into the here and now but there is plenty of it. Oh a trim tab, trim tab control there too really great and we've got room here for other stuff if you want to fantastic. Okay so let's uh, hop off that place and uh, go down the companionway really easy to get down it's very very wide very very deep so we're uh, one two three steps down and we're into the interior so we'll just turn to starboard first which is the galley area as you can see we kind of got i think it's vinyl flooring could do with being uh, changed as could the carpet if this boat has been uh, professionally valeted top to bottom inside out uh, they really have made the best of her but obviously you can see where things might still need to be done we've got a fridge freezer here to starboard we've got a stereo above that this would be access to all of the electrics uh, behind the helm etc which is really nice to have nice needs to get at as well nestling in the corner we've got uh, a nice twin sink unit drawers and cupboards beneath moving forward we've got a uh, we have a 
triple ring unit there so that's uh, electric only so uh, with the generator running you should be able to use that at c2 i think to be confirmed microwave underneath and a drawer access to the bilge down here there is good access to the bilge all over the boat i won't mention it again but there are several hatches we've got cupboards above cupboards to the side cupboards forward a really useful uh, uh kind of um breakfast bar here i guess you would describe it as but that possibly could be re reconfigured if you want we have sockets everywhere we've got the ship's bell and you can see uh, the headlining here is uh, pretty much commensurate with the rest of the boat uh, it has been cleaned but could do with further attention now on the port side here we've got uh, an l-shaped sofa we've got i'm sure we'll have storage under here we certainly have here looks nice and comfortable upholstery um better than upstairs but uh you know we need to be thinking about this kind of thing Okay, in the port aft corner, we can see we've got the ABS backer control. We've got uh, an air, air conditioning control here, so we must have that machinery somewhere, unless it's been taken away. We've got a vent up there, look. Uh, we've got uh, a big pack of uh, the ownership manuals, etc. I think we have the diesel manuals, all the rest of it. We've got the original owner's manual there too. And uh, here's the electrics panel nestling behind this uh, smoked cover there. And we've got a TV sitting on the Ford bulkhead with a nice Xbox 360. All boats need Xboxes or Playstations, I say, being a fan myself. But uh, there we go. Could be fun for you or the kids. Uh, on the right-hand side here, uh, behind what looks like a sliding door, we've got a twin Pullman cabin. Carpet looks a little bit better in here because it's probably not been used as much. I think it's probably been a store over the years. Nice window, storage to the side, a hatch for a light and air above. Big mirror there as well. Some storage underneath here too. And it uh, looks like uh, probably an, an AC vent there too. Storage under the bed. And uh, as you can see, we've got two comfy looking Pullman beds there all in the way. And I've just noticed it looks like this section here probably drops down and uh, gives us some kind of, uh, uh, some kind of um, either a, a either a, a hole through or maybe some kind of table this side i will have to work that out that's one of the uh, lovely things about boats working out all the ingenious little things that have been done so on the port side here as we go forwards we've got uh, jack and jill doors to this uh, section here you can see we've got a toilet here a head so we're sitting on the port side facing kind of starboard forwards which is fine Cupboards underneath the sink, the sink, cotton cold water, and uh, we've got uh, a nice big mirror there, probably concealing cupboards, and a hatch above. Plenty of room in there. If I just close the door to that, and uh, we're into the forward cabin. So here we go. We can see that uh, on the forward section of the uh, compartment, we've got a lovely, massive, great big bed, minus the mattress. No idea where that's gone. Uh, you can see the head lining, the side lining, etc., etc. could all do with being rejuvenated, but this would be one humongously lovely, great big double, triple, quadruple bed, whichever you'd like. Storage underneath it as well. There's a big bilger um, area forward there, and I'm sure somewhere under here we must have the bow thruster machinery. On the port side, we don't normally get this in forward cabins, but it's so big, we've got uh, lots of storage. We've got uh, an ensuite sink here as well, storage underneath, and uh, over on the other side, slightly less because we've got the, the long Pullman cabin on the starboard side, but we have got uh, wardrobes, we've got a clock and barometer here by the looks of it, AC inlet, a cupboard, AC controls, a TV in the corner there, and a bit more storage underneath too. Let's just verify that this is a cupboard. There we go. Yep, lovely great big cupboard there. Plenty of room to hang a few bits and pieces in there. So this has been Tim from Boat Shed Drop Brokers, just taking you for an interior tour of the cockpit and the interior of this Sea Ray 390. Thanks for watching. If you'd like further details, just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. Take care, have a great day and perhaps we'll speak to you soon.